Hi, welcome back. Um, this is the official intro to my craft show vlog. I have craft show Saturday. Um, today is Monday. I am in my car, as you can see, because uh, the little one is awake and the husband is home. I just got back from running errands, kind of for the show, kind of not. I didn't end up getting what I needed, so I'm going to have to get back out later. But anyway, I decided to take this craft show and bust it up into two videos, a pre and then one that's during and post, uh, because I have a lot of stuff to do this week to get ready for the show more so than normal because it's when we're traveling for I'm actually taking supplies to uh, work on pieces there which is the first time doing that so I want to definitely get more footage of the actual fair than I did last time um so this is going to be kind of the pre because uh, I have a lot of things I need to do I have totes I need to organize my display stuff is a disaster from last time it just I've been kind of packing up and throwing them in I need to do a taking my inventory and figure out what I want to do. I have projects that I'm going to be working on specifically for this festival. Um, it's the Georgia Strawberry Festival, by the way. So I want to try to make some items kind of specific for that. Um, so yeah, so that's the plan. And I'm just going to kind of be checking in throughout the week, showing you guys my progress. Um... So I will check back in soon. Okay, so I thought I'd show you guys my closet a little bit. This is part of the stuff I've got to organize this week before the show. This is where I keep all of my extras, like my backup inventory blanks, um, project pieces, I guess, whatever you want to call them. Um, I have a ton of these small ones. I was buying them from AC Moore, but they are, they put them all in clearance. Um, so I bought all that they have left, because once they're gone from there, I don't know where I'm going to buy them from. The, these bigger vases, I can pretty much find anywhere, uh, but those smaller ones are hard to find. And all of my votives, I usually buy this stuff, um, I buy most of the stuff that's in here right now, it came from AC Moore, and they put these... I'll buy them when they're on sale, because they put the glassware on sale pretty frequently. Um, and the wood things and the votives, I usually buy when they put out one of their 20% um, off total purchase, or 25% off, or whatever it is. And I'll go in and I'll stock up on those things so they're even less. They're pretty inexpensive to begin with. Um, yeah, so that's that part. Also, um, I have the tote that is... Oops, sorry about that. It was loud. All of my bags, Use this, so I'm gonna go in there. all of my bags and things, and this is part of the stuff that needs to get organized this week. Um, it, it's a mess because I just kind of, when you're digging around in there during shows, and I had other stuff in there. Anyway, and this is all my shipping supplies, um, plus just extra of this kind of paper for packaging, for wrapping things up and um, packing them away. And the bottom tote is display stuff, and I have another display tote that's for display stuff that doesn't have any of my display stuff in it right now because I used it this weekend for a volunteer thing I did. Um, but that's something I've got to do. I've got to organize this stuff. The totes are just a mess because I just kind of after shows been throwing them in. Throwing things in just in anything, any order. There's no rhyme or reason to it, and I need to, I need to fix that. So I'm going to be doing that Probably tomorrow. I'm probably not going to do it today. One way that you can tell I'm in full craft show mode is the state of my desk. It's just there's stuff everywhere. Um, Ivy's cute Easter picture. Some hairbreads that I started. But yeah. Um, this is where I keep all of my stuff that I want in hand. Um, also, this is just kind of new things that I've gotten, um, but I usually have votives stacked in there, and I just kind of, some of this stuff, um, is just in here because it was easier to get to, just throw it here, than to put it in the closet, like these, to put them where they go, um, I got 
notebook, this canvas. I want to try canvas painting with clay. I don't know what I'm going to do that. It probably shouldn't be in this box because this is a box of stuff I want handy right away. Um, yeah. So there's that. I wanted to show off this. A um, friend of mine made this for me. She made it for me a while ago and we kept missing each other at playdates and things for me to pick it up. But it's got a really strong magnet on it. Like I can't, I can't even pry it open right now with one hand. Uh, for money. And then she had me measure my phone so that this fits perfect in there. And then it has two bigger pockets. It's super cute. Oh, and then it's got a pin in pocket right there which is really cool um super cute i can't wait to wear it this is the first show that i've had it for and i'm really thankful she didn't charge me anything for it which i was looking at them on etsy and they were wanting like 30 bucks for something similar so that was really cool of her to uh make that for me and it turned out really great and i'm excited but i wanted to show that off i really 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 want to organize right now i want to go through those totes um but that is a lower priority task. I need to be making more inventory. Oh geez, I'm gonna break all my motives. Um, I really need to be working on more inventory. So, yeah, that's what I need to do. I'm trying to keep telling my. I've said that like four times, and I'm trying to like remind myself that I, that's what I need to do. That organizing those toads is not a priority. So. They need to be done, but if they don't get done, it's not the end of the world because the stuff is still there. It's just not easily accessible. It's harder to find things I'm setting up. Um, I need the inventory. And I also need to figure out what project I want to take with me. Like, do I want to take smaller stuff or do I want to take one of those, the notebook or the canvas and work on something like that while I'm there? I don't know. So I've got to figure that out too. I'll probably think on that and get started, but I'll check back in again in a little bit when I finally actually get started on things. Okay, checking in again. Um, it's still Wednesday, but it's about 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. that is. I got one photo finished, even though I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. I'm going to make one more. Um, but like this, or something similar. I'll probably do it a little different next time. Maybe make the grass taller and the basket bigger because this it seems so plain to me. Um, but I don't know. We'll see how I feel about it tomorrow because sometimes when I just stare at something for a long time, I hate it. And then when I walk away from it for a while, I realize it's not as bad as I thought. Um, yeah, that's probably it for tonight. I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. Okay, checking in. It's Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, I guess it's 6 o'clock. Um, I've actually gotten a lot done today, considering I was here by myself with Ivy and she was awake and I didn't really start working on stuff until probably 1 or 2. I've got a couple of sets of earrings made. These are going to be some planner charms and I'm almost finished with this. i got one more flower to put on. And yesterday I showed you guys my desk, but that wasn't anything. This is the madness. I've been doing a million other things at one time. I keep getting distracted. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty happy with... I got all these done, which was all that was on my to-do list today. So that's nice. That leaves me some time to work on some other things this evening. And, uh, yeah. Maybe I might check back in later and let you guys know what I'm up to. Okay, so it's about 8 o'clock and I'm checking in again. Everything you saw on my desk earlier, it's finished, baked, and cooling off, ready to be glazed as soon as that happens. Um, I really like the way the barrette turned out, so I'm making a couple more. This is all the size I have left. This is all I'm going to do. And making him mini one for Ivy. She saw the one that was finished on my desk earlier and was sad because I didn't make it for her. So I'm making her her own. And yeah, I, I'm, these are super fun and easy to make. It took me no time. I 
also between the last check-in which was two hours ago I managed to take a shower and feed Ivy dinner and get her to bed so pretty productive evening so far if I decide to make anything else later I will check back in Hi guys, I thought I'd check in and show you what I'm up to right now. I'm working on organizing and packing my totes. Down here is all my inventory. I'm going to have to consolidate some stuff and maybe take some things out because not everything's going to fit in there. This tote is just all my display stuff. It's got my tablecloths, my banner, um, my earring stand, uh, all that stuff. My The books that I use is kind of like risers. And then in this tote, I have my tea set, which I use. I keep my um, business cards in it. A lot of times I have candy um, there. Uh, and I have that right there is my cash box. And then I have my email list, my apron, bug spray, my tape, uh, some extra um, uh, stands for my signage. And then in the corner right there, I have a list that I haven't cut out yet. Um, and in this bag right here, this is kind of like my bag of things. This stays in this tote. Um, it's my first aid kit, de uh, travel deodorant, Sharpie is in there, my glue, my portable charger, power bank. And then here I have more personal care type stuff, sunscreen, uh, this aloe setting spray stuff, which is like a cooling thing as well, uh, lint roller for the tablecloth, and this is my, kind of my tool side, my mini hole punch, my earring back things, extra price tags, my multi-tool, and I will put my, um, wire cutters and my well actually no this time I won't because usually I have my wire cutters and my jewelry making tools in case I need to fix anything in here as well but I'm taking all of my clay stuff this time so I'll probably just put it in that bag so it's all together and I'll probably check in later and show you guys that it's a really neat bag and how I pack it and everything that I'm going to take with me so I'll check in later Hey, my clay bag. Packing up my stuff. Um, this is actually a nail polish bag for nail artists. Or a, you know, it's actually pretty cool. Let's into this. But there it is, empty. Lots of compartments. Perfect. I'm not going to be filling it to the brim like I normally do, but I'll show you guys a little bit when I'm done. Okay, so I've started packing my bag. I've got my liquid clay, my bacon bond, my alcohol, my water, my pasta machine. This will fit right down next to it. It's got all my findings in it. My tool kit. i got to zip up. I need to put my scissors in there. Some blanks. i got to grab a couple more things to put in here. And I gotta put my mat right there. But yeah, so there's a bag. Usually I have this thing is completely full, but I'm only taking a few little things to work on, so I don't need as much stuff. Alright, so I guess I'll check back in later. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, I'm asking you, where are we going? Um, we're going to the strawberry festival. The strawberry festival. That's right. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. I am. Okay. Okay. So. But where are we going tonight? We're going to to to, to the sea line and get to the sea. We get to the hotel and then 
that time soon. Yep. But sorry, wake up time. Hi. So it's slight change of plans. We decided to get a hotel room closer into town for the night so because we realized we were gonna have to get up at 3 a.m. And none of us wanted to do that. So we found a cheap hotel on the way there. It's only about 45 minutes away from the festival. So we're doing that. Get your finger out of your nose. Gross. Um, so yeah, that's it for the night. The truck is packed and we're getting ready to head out on the road. So, um, next thing will be we'll film tomorrow at the show. So this is where I'm going to say bye and thank you for watching. And uh, we will see you again uh, after the show on Saturday. Now go. Go. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching down below. Down below what? Down below. Subscribe to so, our channel. Let's see you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.